Hi. Hello. <laughs> this is Obi. He's an immature astronomer, but he seems pretty mature. I think the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm mature. Th you're mature. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, so all, I mean, the, the astrology started with astronomy. So, so in really, really old times, uh, it was it was really very dark all around. There was no lights. And people didn't have uh, light pollution. They were staying in smaller huts and stuff and caves. Um, so when they looked up the sky, they they saw all these stars and and they tried to make sense of it. So that's why when they saw different shapes in the sky, they they mapped it to these zodiac signs. Uh, so it when you look at Leo sign in sky it actually looks like a lion sitting down it has a has a distinct head and and feet and and a tail portion so so that's that's how it started and and um as they uh, started mapping it to their experiences they saw things they they felt things like oh when when mercury is in this sign i'm not feeling good or or something bad has happened maybe earthquake came when some planet was in some sign and they they started um studying those events and those uh, uh those those um kind of uh, occurrences where where it was like happening when something was associated with some sign you know and that's how the astrology started. So it started from astronomy. I agree with that. Like mm -hmm. to me, I don't. So this at... is like old, old days. Like like way when, like when human, yeah, human species was just starting to evolve and under get understanding of different things around. Yeah. Like before fire. Yeah, probably <laughs> around that time. Yes, <laughs> when they look up the sky and start to think about these things. Yes. So for me. Like, I don't believe necessarily that where the planets are on a day-to-day -day level will determine my day. I feel like I have more control over mm -hmm. it, over my day than mm -hmm. that. Yeah. But, like, my theory and why mm -hmm. astrology is important is because, like, I feel like it's maybe, you know, your cre whatever your version of the creator is, yep. is their way of organizing people. Yep. <laughs> this is the sun, yep. you know, and this is the earth. So, wait, maybe that's a bad example. But I'm born, for example... Mm -hmm. in the summer mm -hmm. when people are happy and they're going out mm -hmm. and they're having a good time yep. so if i am going through my emotional development let's say at mm -hmm. three months mm -hmm. okay that's going to determine my disposition yeah um i'm going to have maybe a happier outlook yep. than somebody who's going through that emotional development part of their life in i don't know february yep where it's like the number one month of suicides. Mm -hmm. Everyone's depressed. It's the coldest month. It's, the, it's got 28 days for a reason because it's the shittiest month. <laughs> so, I mean, Pisces people yeah. will disagree. Everybody who's yeah. a Pisces loves their birthday. And they should. And we should all love their birthday, yep. too, because it is a shitty month. But yeah. <laughs> it's like the one happy thing, right? Yay, my friend was born this month. Yep. But other than that, yeah. So people who are developing their emotional state of mm -hmm. mind in that psychologically in that period of time maybe mm -hmm. are going to have a completely different outlook than somebody born later in the spring where it's all about new beginnings and, you know, yep. birds chirping Absolutely. and baby bunnies being born kind of an energy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I, I, that makes sense. Cool. So yep. that kind of correlates, you know, yes. taking notes, taking stock of, yep. of these are all the similar characteristics of each. Yes. And yeah. And so that... would you call it science or pseudoscience? What? <laughs> Astrology? Yeah. Um, I think, I think astrology is definitely, so, so it's, it's all about numbers. Hard to say for a serious physics type astronomer. No, no, <laughs> actually, see, that's the funny thing. So, so when, when, uh, I'm dealing with numbers, let's say I'm, I'm going to play poker or blackjack, right? That there, there is a probability of things happening. Like, okay, blackjack or poker, if I have, I, if I have two aces, I'm, pretty much if, if I'm playing poker I'm going to do good in this hand the chances are higher right yeah so that's a that's a probability so 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 same thing is is with astrology that the the, the probability of those things happening it's it might be because of the surroundings or might be because of the way you you're born or brought up and things like that it might differ so so yeah it's 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 a game of probability 
Good. Yeah. Good. So see, what we believe here isn't totally bullshit. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't <laughs> definitely agree with that. <laughs> Very good. Yep. Yeah. So some of the other things are like, uh, uh, how, how do you decide what, what uh, sign you are, like moon sign or sun sign? So, so when you are born... So now you're on Earth, and that's that's where we are. So so, assuming let's say you're born in in a in a system which is which is like this. So now when you're looking from Earth, the Mercury looks looks like it's in one of the signs. Same way Sun looks like it's in one of the signs, and there's a small Moon rotating around Earth that looks like it's it's pointing to some other sign. So wherever those are pointing at the time of your birth those are your zodiac signs. So if, if the moon is pointing to Scorpio, the, the other direction, then your moon sign is Scorpio. If the sun is pointing towards Taurus, then your sun sign is Taurus. Uh, and so those, those constellations never move though, right? Uh, no, they don't, they don't. The, the sun moves, uh, sorry, Earth moves around the sun and, and all the planets move around the sun, but the constellation... And the moon goes around yeah, the Earth. moon goes around the Earth, yep. Or does it? Yeah. yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yep. See, I'm not good at the planet stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. I yeah. think that... And what about a rising sign? So when you were born, this, the, the sign that is rising uh, up, up, above, the above the horizon is, the, is your rising sign. So, so when you... The moment you're born, and depending on which, which place you are there will be a different sign that is rising at that time. So that will be your rising sign. I don't know if you've heard about this because you do astronomy and mm -hmm. I'm more into astrology, but they say that this year, mm -hmm. everybody's signs are moving like two spaces or something. That if you used to be a Leo, maybe now you're a Virgo. What's that about? So that's that's a, that's related to sun signs. So sun signs, uh, the dates, they have they have changed by a day or two, right? Is that, is that oh, what I, I don't know. Yeah. So, so sun signs, uh, uh, the the dates have changed a little bit. So, so what happens is as as Earth is rotating around itself, it's it's not rotating at the perfect angle. It's rotating at a little bit tilted. So, as as it's rotating tilted, uh, it's it's a little wobbly too. So, as it wobbles, uh, where it is pointing can change over a period of longer time. So, it's it's wobbling very slowly, but say over a period of hundreds of years now now that that uh, that transition from one sign to other might shift by by a few hours or a few days depending on on how earth is so the only people the who really have to worry about it are cusp people then yes since yes. i was born in the middle yep yeah I, you, I, my you, sign's never going to no, change no, my whole life no. No, so your your sign is depending on the time you were born so it it's anyways not going to change um, and it sh it should not change. the The only thing is that is applicable to people who who are born from now onwards. Oh, yeah. so your sign doesn't change, guys. Yeah. You don't be go from being a Leo to no, being a Virgo. No, no. at okay. least not from the astronomical sense, where where your sign is defined by uh, by the time you were born, right? So okay. the when you were born, where was the where was the sun? Which sign it was pointing to? That didn't change. So, but like if you're pregnant and you're trying to induce labor to have a specific type of child. Okay. For example. Okay. Like we'll just use the Leo Virgo yeah. cusp again. Yeah. Um, if you wanted a child who's like really neat and organized, yeah. then maybe you would get that two days sooner or two days later. Yeah. Right? Is that yeah. what you're kind of saying? Yeah, yeah. So only new children being new born. New children being born. Is, okay. is what it, it impacts. Yes. That's good because people freak out about this all the time. They say, I don't know if I'm, you know, this sign or that sign yeah. now that things change. So yeah. that's really excellent information yeah. to have. Yeah. So in regards to this whole thing about the earth wobbling, does that mm. mean it's end of times? Is it the apocalypse? Mm. Are we going to wobble right off our axis? Uh, no. It goes no. straight into a black hole? No. It, well, it, it is going to happen after like gazillion years, <laughs> like, like, like a billion years. Uh, but, 
No, that that has nothing to be, do with. But then we'll be living motion, on Mars yeah. or something. Yeah, okay. so it's uh, it's look at it like a like a top that you spindle, right? Uh -huh. So at at the start, it's it's like spinning, and then slowly, slowly, it's it's as it slows down, it's 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 kind of wobbling. And even when it is spinning faster, it's it's not exactly spinning at its axis. It it kind of moves around, yes. wobbles mm -hmm. around a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's what this motion is. It's it's just a simple physics that earth is also rotating like physics that. physics is simple guys. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so earth is rotating. This from an and... immature ast astronomer. Yep. <laughs> simple physics. <laughs> yep. yep. See, the rest of us are less science minded and more woo woo that okay. watch these videos. So okay. this is really helpful. We're going to sound yep. really smart at the bar. That's, mm -hmm. that's great. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!